Hello everyone, my name is Rock Obama, and today we're going to be uh, discussing the Lee Everett case of The uh, Walking Dead. I know today we're connected to the uh, server. No, but really guys, I'm actually going to talk a lot more clearly. Because one of my videos, I my voice sounded like really awful. So... Let's play the game. Oh. Right, yep, yeah, I'll play the game. What? Yeah, we still are on number one. Um, no, four hundred, five hundred, four hundred days. I think. What are you gonna do? The plane series, not the uh, five hundred days. Four hundred days. Okay. Everyone, all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. Well, yeah. All right, here we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, now, like I said. Melted now. Yep. Oh, this place is infinite empty bars. Okay. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. This game is really awesome, but um, I'll just let you hear what they are saying. Zombies. They're the honey boo boos. More than a couple days oh, all dang. Okay. I reach this bar? I can't reach that brick. I could just squeeze my hand. Oh, okay. Do you think you can do anything with this? Yeah. I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid. Not much to do with it now. Yeah, I robots. You're mm. a strange guy, Doug. I know. Doug's kind of cool. Wait a minute. Eh, eh. Maybe is that a TV store? Come on. Think you can do anything with this? No, what I could do. What's that? Oh, you think? No. You think I can do? Yep. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Then? Don't you think that someone would take the batteries out of the remote? Let's try. Something else, you know? <laughs> also, guys, I have an unturned server now, so if you guys want to see me well, do some videos of me with my maybe and a friend, that would be cool. Since might save a life. Okay. It already has it. Okay. Few of them to take notice. Okay, I have an idea. Throw the brick at that and then yeah. Awesome. Now to distract those things. But 
So now open this. Open. Okay. Open this a little. Grab the brick. It's actually pretty far now. I'm not and now she's Zam. No way. He Wow, nice throw. Geez, I can't even throw like that. I'm a little kid. <laughs> I'm saying, of course, I can't throw like that. At least, uh. What if he missed? How weird would that be? Like, oh, okay, dang, I need to run out and get my brick back. Oh, okay. dang. I'm, I'm guessing like that was his like brother or like dad or something. Probably his brother. Because he hasn't looked that old. Compassion. No, you don't. Lee, come on. You don't need to do this. Come on, Lee. You don't need to do this, Lee. Jump scares. Come on. Come on. No, just get him in the head. The head. You need to break the brain. Headshot. Okay, he uh, you didn't miss that time. I'm guessing his family on that place. Doug just like attract them. You after he yelled that, all of them just turned around. Whatever. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I'm gonna apple all your head if you don't shut up. Pass the <sighs> door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find yours for Larry in there. Uh, okay, exit. Ax exit a question. Exit a question. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Okay, keys. Keys. Didn't someone that here have like picked the lock or something? Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. My TV was very dirty, and now it is. Yeah, how dirty? Who would scoot over them in the shoulder? Really, it's just called drugs. Come on, give me time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. 
Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, what, what if you like, you three, get it like messed up and like killed him? I'll save you. Plays on, just barricade it up, and just tell uh, you're good. There'd be like some water fountains there, so infinite water. Burn those bodies like in Dead Rock, but like in Dead Island. If they start smelling up, you know what's stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I 
I think that's the wrong call. You gotta do what you gotta do. I think, I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. I mean, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See you around is a common f phrase for everyone in World of Warcraft. As soon as I close the menu, see you around, 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 see you around. That's all that happens. Basically, ever. Okay, Thank okay. You. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, we did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Okay, thank you. You got it. I'm always gonna be Kenny's friend. He's, he's Kenny. He looks kind of like my dad, kind of, barely, maybe. Hold on. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I, I know it's stupid. We just met. I mean, it's, it's probably just that survival thing. I really liked her. She liked she you liked too? too. Thanks. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. You look like you needed help. I was going to help you Yeah. Both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. I lied. <laughs> I did. Am I in left to right? No. And then Carly probably would have been sad too. Sorry. A bang bang boom boom toast. It sounds like the sound no, my toaster it's makes. Not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. So it can't it's help us. She's late. What kind of option would that be? I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Ruth, let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Boom boom tang tang ball of toast. Like my daughter. Yeah, she, uh, she's great. She's great. Or stay the fuck away from her. Or uh, what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. <coughs> hey. Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> Screw you, Larry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Screw you. Dead if it weren't for you. Okay. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Oh, I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. 
We block off the entrances with some cars and keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. All right, cool. What? Oh. That's great. To be continued. Don't worry, I'll start the next season this episode because this episode's only been 20 minutes, so let's see what's next. Next time on The Walking Dead! I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I'm time looks bored. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Walking Dead episode two was sorry for help. Health, help. No, I didn't read what that says. Okay. Uh, U and forty. Okay. Uh, U sixty three percent of players were honest. Okay. U and forty seven percent of players chose Sean. This kind of. Yeah. U and forty eight percent of players went to Kenny. Well, people don't like Kenny though. Uh, you and 45% uh, players gave her the gun. Um, oh yeah, from the um, thing. Uh, who would you have saved Doug or Collie? 23% of players chose Doug. Okay, well thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that was a nice, uh... Hey, can I skip this, please? Am I forced to go through this whole thing? Okay, I think I'm allowed to get my menu on this one. Okay. So sweet, guys, we, uh... Oh, uh, no. Whoopsie. Oh, I press exit. I, for, I forgot that you're supposed to click main menu, not exit. <laughs> Alright, Star Wild Entertainment! Yeah! Okay. I'll take the game. Did my game just crash? My game did not crash. That's good. Not oh, one thing. One second.
Okay. Oh, sorry, I had to do something real quick. Also, I'll turn my phone just a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Going to season two. Not season two, but um, episode two. I know who you are. Oh, I got oh, a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. <laughs> Give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You watch yours. You will burn it off. Saying them swears. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. You don't need to swear though. Swearing's not good. Swearing is not good. Okay. This is kind of glue laggy. <laughs> yeah, Walker. I'm starting out with the uh, Leola <gasps> action maneuver. Action the question. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Who's that guy? Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well. That's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Guess that's why it's called Starved for Help. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <clears throat> I don't know what that's about. He thinks I'm dangerous. He's no racist. He's just an old racist yeah. ass. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, it looks like you're pretty much hurt. One thing. Shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Oh, 
you retard, Mark. See, you. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. It didn't sound like Kenny. I find. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. Oh my God, it's, These it's, might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. It's Billy Mays. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. This uh. isn't our problem. We should go. No, no, please. At least just look at the trap. Just look at it, and maybe you can tell us how to get it off. Please help me. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. This can't be happening. Oh, no, no, no. Please. Stop. Do something. Please. Fuck. Is he going to make it? Please. Get me out of this. This is bad. This is so bad. Stop. 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 Oh, God. He can't die. Why would somebody do this? Oh, oh no. Stop. Stop. Please hurry. Check your pride open with this brain. Is this happening to No us? crap. Lee, it has to be. Grab. One more. You have to. I want my leg. We can't want my use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift orders. You can get it over. We're not cutting through now. Fuck. I'm just wasting so much blood already. We gotta go. hurry up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many of them. Please, 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 please. We can't just leave him like this. There has to be a Come way out of this. Come on, get it off. chop down this tree. Are you nuts? Quit fucking around. Try something else. Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon. Um. Please, oh, God. please get save me out him. Calm down, kid. We'll get him out of this. Okay. This is bad. Come on, we gotta go now. I'm not gonna no. cut his leg off. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't leave me. Damn it, Lee. I I'm sorry. No. I'm not gonna cut his leg off. God. Like that. Give me the gun. Give it to me! Like Travis! You go! Screw you! Shit! What happened? He went for the gun! Oh god. god. Grab the kid and keep moving! Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Ah. Sorry, Mr. Parker. Oh my game, it just like went black train for that. Oh, it's not responding. <sighs> Wait.
Okay, there we go. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Screw this! Leave them out there! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are they? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Uh-huh. No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader uh -huh, of this little cute. group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. Guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I want Kenny Slot always to see any cool. of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, Larry. Why don't you go help Mark? With you the probably ball. have no balls. <laughs> 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 all right, there you go, Larry. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, dang. Okay. Maybe if I stick with the men, I mean. The women and children. Maybe that will be pretty good because the women and children are. Okay, I'm sorry, Ben, but you probably already ate, you know, when they're out. They probably already ate. I'm sorry, but. Uh, it's hard. Hard. Give rations? No, screw that. Okay, you know what? Just, 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 just. To try to get on the good side. hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. <laughs> okay. What's up? Okay, I'll fuck away. I'll play. <sighs> Lily thinks 
we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Okay. Okay, lost. Well, Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Okay. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Yeah, I'll give wax to Aerie just Here, so I can be a... Yourself. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Mary. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, uh, and that's what you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you told me? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I'm going to bash your head against the barbed wire. To start trying to get along <laughs> The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Oh, well, thanks, Larry. Jeez, I gave him the axe thing and he was gonna be like, Oh, thanks for the axe, Lee. You're so nice. You're such an awesome person. But no, you know, I'm just... So, you gotta... Here, Larry. Uh, give half an apple, give a piece of jerky, give crackers and cheese. Uh, you know what, you get a piece of jerky. Well, we would want you to because you're a jerk. I should shove this up your ass. I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the fruit is driving me crazy. Oh, I can only use the Tesla Mark now. Okay. Okay. Oh, the, the people at the third game, soccer ball. Hold on, find out. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Shh. Do you really need it? Sure. sure. This, this looks cute. Cool. I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. There's like a I've got to take care of some the, things. Um, why don't you go back Come to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, you know what? The kids get the food, okay? Because I don't even mean the kids get the food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. You can have an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. They do. Can I give Clementine all the foods? Okay, not, not Duck, hey, because Doc, he's another kid. How about a little food? <laughs> you can have some crackers Here. and cheese. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. I really appreciate that. Give the last piece for yourself. Ooh, yeah. Well, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Exactly. You know, we got we got a few people that we can pick here. We got Kaja, we got Doug, we got Mark, we got like Lily, we got Duck, we got we got Ben. Hey, you want some food? No, you're not getting any food. You know what? You know what? I'm making a tough decision, but you know what, Kenny? You get some food. Want you something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, the other knows that you found Kenny. Okay, well, see, it was a tough decision, but I rationed him out. Quite nicely, I think. Not such an easy job, is it? It was pretty easy. Just make your dad happy. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. I'd love to do that every hey, day. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Yeah, well, okay, you know what? I'm not on the fence anymore. I'm with your team. What the heck? You mad at me? Hey, I can... Come here, please. Oh, you kidding me? He I gave it, did he? I gave his son he and him food. Too much blood. Jerk. God damn it. 
I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. Own with, like, That's the man you brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah. What about the other kid? What the heck? He wasn't bitten? Oh, okay, I get it. Get out of the damn way! Damn it! I have it! No, nope. you suck! I got him! Oh, thank you, dog. Thank you for being so cool. Now, screw off! Screw you! And screw that back with this one right there. Come on, Joe Dirt, what are you doing? Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Black blood. What? Um, I guess. No, how you doing? Oh, come on! Okay, now, stupid thing. Bash his face in with your foot. I got him. Come on. Come on, Doug. One more. Come on, Doug. One more. You gotta get that. You gotta get it right in the memories. My wife and kids. Thank you. Thank you. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You know, I'm great giving you that food. Uh, I wish I would give it to Mark just to make you mad. Yeah, let's get this guy. Why awesome. didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Oh, Dad. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. What's kind of a unique system there? Duh. It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. I think you know who they are. What? How could I? They showed up right after you got here. I don't know anybody in this town, I swear. Hmm. No one's still alive. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We got to do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh... I think you got the upper hand here. <laughs> I think he might be right now. 
Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Ooh. Ooh. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, okay. what do y'all think? <sighs> okay, we'll go through You've got a deal. I we'll bring trust some you, gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. Ooh. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Yeah. Hopefully it's corn. Thanks for coming along. I really huh? like corn. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed That's up. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mm, I grew up in Macon, Nevada. That is my home now. I move around all yeah, I grew I grew up in Macon. Yeah. Right here in the heart of Java. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? I am Kenny. I am. Hiya. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Not including the kids, enough to defend ourselves. Enough to defend ourselves. Enough herself. to defend ourselves. <laughs> well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. <laughs> well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but... Now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. All oh, right. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Bandits? You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Shoot him! Shoot! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Asshole! Okay then, just waste six bullets when you could use one. Shit! Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. What about the bow thingy he had? Come on! What about his, all his clothes? You know, you could use that hat. You can use that. Yeah, you can use that. Um. Thing he had on his mouth. I don't know. It's, I think it's like a bandana. You put that on, like around Clementine's neck and just <laughs> Saint John family. I'm just kidding. Y'all can see how he kept this place so safe. The fence keeps him out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. Mm. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys? This is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow on good there. 
They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for, for help. <gasps> Take a job! Y'all, they fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. That's for sure. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. So we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone from the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm now gonna go prank you and push you in. <laughs> they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay. Well, guys, that's uh, it for this episode, guys. And, um, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, my name's Lee Everett, and thank you all for watching. I'm just kidding. My name's Joseph Bentley. And, as always, see you all later. Bye!